Hi, this is Chad L. Coleman. I played Dennis Cuddy Wise on the HBO series The Wire. And this is Ranker's Top 5 Wire Characters. Rounding out the top five, I would say Cuddy, for sure. Um, not because I played the role. He's emblematic of, of most guys in the hood. Most, most guys in the hood, believe it or not, don't want to do dirt anymore. They want to change their lives. And the fact that he was able to change his life in real time, I think, does a service to television, does a service to our community. And it's just walking real time hope. Marlo, Whew. ice cold, man, just ruthless. <laughs> Do it or don't, just casually put it on your jacket. Kill him, you will kill him, kill him. Marlo was representing a new generation. The birth of whatever you thought I wouldn't do, I will do. Omar, you hadn't seen this character before, and when you can get street cred in, in a, a truly homophobic environment, when you can, you know, bring the noise to the degree where you get the homies to, to have nothing but mad respect and fear, that's a hell of a feat. A classic hood prince. <laughs> kind of the last of a dying breed. <laughs> there was loyalty there. There was family there. There was do's and don'ts and ways to go about it. And I felt like, you know, he learned that from the old school and he represented that really well. There was something honorable about him, even in the dirt. He identified with my character and my, my integrity and he co-signed for me to change. In, in that environment, in the world that we lived in, by all rights, he could have said, take him out, and he didn't. So I think that said a lot about who he was, too. Number one, Stringer Bell, man. I hated the character. I thought he was diabolical, but boy, it was it is an amazingly layered, diabolical dude. A dude that had the type of charisma that allowed him to pretty much do anything. He had no loyalty to anybody but himself, but he seduced us all. And when you're able to do that, you know, that's a pretty rarefied air.